Hello family, today we're looking at privacy manager. We're going to be looking at who is a privacy manager, what is the role of a privacy manager, what is the job description. This job is 100% remote. So we're going to be looking at how can you apply, how do you update your resume and this job pays between $829,000 to $160,000 a year. So if that sounds very interesting, let's dive in together to take a look at this role and then uh, review how you can apply and then how you can get the job. Let's go. Now, privacy manager, that is what we're looking at today. The name of the company is 8fold.ai. This is the company right here, 84.ai. Now you want to ask yourself, who is a privacy manager? You must also understand, like I said, that this job is 100% remote. Okay. A privacy manager is someone who is responsible for managing and overseeing an organization's privacy program and ensuring compliance with privacy laws. So what you do is you manage, you oversee their privacy program. And you also ensure that they comply with privacy laws. That is basically your role as a privacy manager. So using those three points, you can use that to help yourself do something up that you can use in interview. We're going to get there. Uh, when we get to the interview session, we'll talk more about that. The primary focus of a privacy manager is protecting the privacy of individuals, personal information that the company collect every privacy information every personal information that your company collect it is your duty to ensure that your company does what they're supposed to do to ensure that those information are protected every information that you collect that you process that you store and share as a company must be protected about the company like i used to tell you it is important that you read about the company when you apply even before they call you for interview it is necessary or important that you know everything about the company um another thing that you also have to read is about this role so we're looking for experienced privacy manager to join our team the privacy manager will be responsible for helping ensure the protection and privacy of personal data in compliance with applicable laws regulations and policies like I said earlier, that is what you're going to be doing just to make sure that they are in compliance with laws, regulations, and policies that protect personal privacy, all right? Personal data. Those are the things that you're going to be working on. This position will be responsible for understanding the main data flows between 8fold and the customer. So how 8fold manages their customer data, you're going to be responsible for understanding it, the flow you know, uh, vendors as well and other third parties. That is it about the role. And you also have to read up onto this place. This here is very important. They're saying the ideal candidate will have significant experience in privacy management, strong understanding of privacy laws and regulations. It doesn't take anything to understand privacy laws and regulations. In one of my mentorship programs, when I mentor my clients on the job, one of the things that I always ask you to do is this says that a strong understanding of privacy laws and regulations. You have to be able to pull those privacy laws and regulations and be able to pull them in a tool that will explain them to you and you would have better understanding. And when you have understanding, you are able to carry out your job and do your job effectively. It's very, very important that you use tool as a cyber security professional. You use tools to be able to help you to do your job. Okay. Key responsibilities. Very, very important. We'll be looking at key responsibility with privacy council, conduct privacy assessment, identify potential areas of non-compliance. Uh, so what I'm saying is that you have to be able to uh, collaborate with legal experts to assess the organization's privacy practices and policies. It's in, so you just work with the legal team to kind of assess their privacy practices and policies. And you will need to identify any areas where the organization may be at risk of non-compliance with relevant privacy laws and regulation. 
any privacy laws and regulation that you know they're not in compliance with it is your job to assess and know that so that you can let your management know the second one says you update existing and develop new privacy policy so what that means is that they already have existing some some privacy policy he's now saying that you're going to update that policy not only that you're going to develop new privacy policies okay contrast template procedure this is just reviewing documents this is what it's all about you're going to review their document you're going to review their privacy policy their contract template procedure they don't say you should write something new they already have it so you're going to be reviewing and using it to develop more and the third one says support the review of data uh, processing agreement with customer and vendor now support the review of data processing agreement they are the data processing processing agreement they have with their customers and vendors you're going to support the review of that data processing agreement so here is what you're just doing is supporting the review of those documentation um, another one here says you're going to review and evaluate the privacy implication of new initiative and product means that every new product and every new initiative that they're coming up with you will have to review and evaluate the implication of privacy laws that applies to those new initiatives. say for instance you're bringing out new product then you want to understand how does this affect our privacy law that is what this means to review and evaluate the third one provide guidance to employees and stakeholders on privacy related matters that's, that is very easy to understand provide guidance to employees and stakeholders on privacy related matters which means you can have some training maybe quarterly or, or six month training on privacy for all employees and all stakeholders um, develop and deliver training program just like i said to educate employees on privacy there are tools that the company already have that i know that they use to organize training privacy training cyber security training trainings provide guidance and support provide guidance and support to business you need to ensure privacy considerations are incorporated that is very easy to understand the next one is monitor and investigate privacy incident and breaches so they use tools for this as well you have to monitor and investigate any privacy incident if there's been any incident or, or breaches when you work there it is your duty as a privacy manager to monitor that incident and breach and also investigate it uh support the maintenance of accurate and up-to-date record of privacy incident this is basically record keeping that's what that means so um you have to sub and th this is not just you actively doing it but what you have to do is to support it support the task of maintenance of accurate and up-to-date record uh, the next one is work with legal and compliance team to ensure compliance with data protection so you're going to be working with legal team and compliance team to make sure that you are in compliance with data protection regulations all right one of the data protection regulation program is gdpr there are other data protection regulation programs anyone that is applicable to eightfold you want to work with the legal team and the compliance team to ensure that they are in compliance with those legal uh, with those data protection regulations another one here says assist in development and the maintenance of data inventory and data map that is very easy that is you know uh very easy to understand basically what this is saying is that you're going to assist in the development and maintenance of data inventories that is the operative word there data inventories all right and data map now the next one says you support vendor compliance risk uh, so vendor compliance risk assessment is every vendor that works with Edford, you want to support the compliance risk assessment with your company that you work for want to ensure that all these vendors that they work with or that they're in partnership with they have a very good program when it comes to handling privacy uh in handling uh, personal data of either the employees or customer or stakeholders or vendors so in order to achieve that you must be able to do a vendor risk assessment so they're saying that you're going to support that program the next one is to provide guidance on the use of data and data sharing arrangement that is very easy as well 
on is, is easily understandable utilize contracts documentation management and other legal tech tools to provide and support legal operations in the department this is also very easy to understand very very easy to understand now qualification let's go to the qualifications right here and this is where it gets very interesting they said at least three years of experience as a privacy analyst privacy specialist or manager at a b2b company so you are either a privacy analyst a privacy specialist or a manager so they're giving options all right so any experience you have is basically saying that bring your experience here we only need three years experience that's what they're saying all right and you're going to update your resume to reflect that and then you're going to apply now they're saying at least two years working experience with one trust trust ac or other tools used to facilitate data mapping data inventories data subject right request now let me tell you something what you're seeing here even if you don't have the two years experience it is easy to learn these tools that is one thing i tell my client don't let this uh, discourage you from applying okay don't let this discourage you from applying you can learn these tools online you can learn them before actual job interview all right another one says proven ability to analyze and present findings uh in cohesive manner strong understanding of privacy laws regulation and the two that they're so concerned about is gdpr and ccpa so gdpr is about europe ccpa is about california experience working with technology it systems data collection another one says strong attention to detail so here the same professional certification such as cipp and cipm is desired they're not saying that it is compulsory or mandatory they're saying it is desired so even if you don't have it you're qualified to apply for this role uh, let's take a look at the juicy pay the standard base pay range for this role is $129,000 to $160,000. So depending on your experience, how you can you know, negotiate, you can make $160,000 a year on this role. So guys, take a look at it. Apply as soon as possible. Uh, in my usual approach, I used to tell you, read everything you can about this company. Read about them. It is very, very important. Okay read about them what do they do what are they about what are the problems they have what privacy laws are they supposed to be uh, in compliance with what are the regulatory framework everything that you need to read because this is not just um remote only they are also going to pay you hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year okay you're qualified for this read about it and apply now this is the resume that will help you clinch an interview you have your name your town your zip code, your phone number, and your email. Again, in my usual manner and approach, if you're gracious enough, put your LinkedIn as well. Your professional summary, everything you see on this resume is well-crafted to ensure that you're qualified for this role. So you can pause this video, like I always say, and take a look at all the skills that I have highlighted here myself and my team we take our time to craft this resume to ensure that when you're presenting this resume they will call you for an interview because this here actually resonates with the job so you can update your resume uh taking a clue from this and you can also copy it as well and then you add your accomplishment and your education now when you take a look at this resume you copy it and you apply for a job they're going to call you for an interview all right i am so certain about that using this resume you will get an interview now when they call you for an interview two things that you must know everything here put them in google or youtube learn about everything here that's number one number two go to the job description the key responsibilities learn everything here okay i'm not saying you should memorize them but make sure you understand the concept understand the terminologies understand the day-to-day -day workings of each of these key roles and responsibilities so that is it about this guys don't forget again the company is eight fold and the role is privacy manager 
I will see you again tomorrow with another exciting cyber security role that does not require you to have tech experience or tech uh, degree. I will see you again tomorrow. And again, if you apply for this role and you get the job, let me know, comment below and let me know how the job is going. Thank you guys. See you again tomorrow with another exciting role.